What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to be trying to make Denny's, now this is actually a new version, um, I don't know why I didn't say that, there's the old one in the background, I'll also show a picture in a minute, this one is a huge improvement, um, I mean it's solid, it, I like it, I don't really have a ton else to say, I mean it's here, it's in front, like, you can, I guess, make the judgment, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, I will probably make an interior on this, it might be a little while, though. I talked about that in the, uh, Jimmy John's tutorial, hopefully that's out by now, if not, I just spoiled the tutorial. Um, but, uh, yeah, here will be the old one in, like, three seconds, and with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space in here for this is a 42 by 35, I know that's a pretty big space. And the materials we're needing to start off, we need a lot, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but the ones you will start with are Cyan Terracotta, please unlock phone. Girl, oh, thanks. Uh, stone bricks. Cobblestone walls. No, oh, this isn't going to be convenient no matter what we do. Black stained glass panes. Mangrove wood. That's jungle. Not what I wanted. You could technically use, I guess, jungle, ironically. Strip spruce. Strip dark oak, any of those would work, even oak would work. Uh, but mangrove, I think, is most logical, at least for me. Uh, smooth quartz, blocks. This is where I don't know what to grab. Uh, black stained glass, blocks. Dark oak doors, and I guess we'll go... We'll go gray concrete. I think we can suffice without the other ones for now. Um... No, I don't know the number back. You know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll do some math. Starting from the front left-hand corner of your 42 by 35 grid cough call for me. You want to start by counting right by one and going backwards, which you don't want to place anything. That was just so I can remember it easily. You want to go count backwards by nine. Then count back one more, so ten. I didn't know that number, and I forgot that was the thing I needed to uh, consider. And you want to go right from this block with thirteen... Let me double-check that, because I have that one written down. Thirteen cyan terracotta. Like that. I don't know where the terracottas came from. I used light gray and white last tutorial that I recorded, and now I'm using cyan. I don't know why I'm doing this. My um, the weird block senses are tingling. Also, if you want to copy this from the front right and do the same thing, if you have the corners punched out, you can. I'm not going to do that because I don't like leaving gaps and almost forcing you to make the grid. I just don't find that pl plausible. Um, but for the most part, the information you need, you can look. At, you can just see by looking at the grid. Although that is 8 right there, just so you're aware. Uh, going left to right or right to left on top of that, it doesn't actually matter. You want to place two stone bricks, cobblestone wall, Two black stained glass pans, cobblestone wall, stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass pans, cobblestone wall, and two stone bricks. Copy that row two more times. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. I misplaced that wall twice. Uh, it's Thursday, which is exciting. Day before Friday, and then I can not even be home for a weekend that's always good um then going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter you want to place two stone bricks four sideways facing mangrove wood stone brick four sideways facing mangrove wood and then two stone bricks copy that row one more time block pick is very useful here and then you're going to have to do this with a placeholder block or two. Probably two, I guess. But you could just, like, make a full or whatever. It'll make sense in a sec. You want to take the bottom mangrove wood rows, and you want to bring them forward with an additional mangrove wood per block. This is why we use wood and can't use logs, because these ends. Now, obviously, if you're in survival, what I would do is I would make all of them logs, and then just those end two wood. Because the other ones you can't see. Uh, but those you can, and if that becomes an issue, then, well... I don't know, it's an issue then. Uh, and then you can put top that off with a row of stone bricks. There's some weird things going on with patterns. Do I want to worry about that? Nah, I don't want to worry about that. 
Do I? Nah, it doesn't matter. I feel like, no, there's not anything else I lied. Um, come to the- Oh god, I just- mm, Something did not go good in my throat area. You want to, from this far right science terracotta, you want to go four diagonally to the right with a smooth core. It's almost a stone brick. You want to bring that right by two, and then bring that little row of three up with an additional 11 blocks per block. So it'll be a total of 12. Just like that. Even if that is a block off, it doesn't matter. Only it would matter shorter, because shorter is going to screw with some things. But having it taller wouldn't matter. Having it shorter would screw with the front roof that will not even make for a while, because we don't have the materials. Okay. From the furthest right smooth course block here, this bottom right, you want to go four diagonally to the right of the black glass. Bring it forward to the black glass. Forward with two dark oak doors, those will be on the left face of the respective blocks. Then two black glass moving forward. Right with, I should know this number, oh boy. Seven black glass. Back with five. Back diagonally to the right with the smooth quartz, and then bring that smooth quartz right by two. Guess what you can do now? You can bring each smooth quartz up by 11. Glad I have that number down at least. Haha, <laughs> something. I'll think of a lot of the numbers, but then there's always the feed that I'm like, oh, I should have taken that one down, but I forgot to. Um, and then what you can do is you can connect the top row of smooth quartz together across the top at the front. That'll kind of give you an N, a really, really misproportioned N. Like, if you draw, like, the sides of it with, the, like, the long side of the pencil, where you, like, almost, it creates, like, a weird kind of glitchy pattern, and then just, like, do a little line at the top. I don't know why I'm going into detail about pencil drawing. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, ignoring whatever the frick that was, you can bring, oh, good God, hold on, let me do some math. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can bring the glass... Each block of glass up with 10 black glass. Yeah, that's correct. And then the doors will be brought up with 9 black glass. Again. Don't know why I forgot that one. Oh, yeah, because I was like, oh, yeah, I can figure that out by counting the other things. But I forgot that it was a curve and, or a slant. So the slant screwed me over. But I still got there, so. Plus one bonus point for being able to do math. This is why math is helpful for a build like this, although not geometry or anything beyond geometry. All of that is useless. I'm never gonna, like, need anything. Especially what I'm learning in math right now, which is... I don't even know what it is. Trigonometry, I think? It's stupid. Stupid is what it is. There you go. Now you have a really, really large glass box on the front of your build. Kinda looks stupid, so, the first thing we're going to do to make it look less stupid, because we only have the materials to do this, is you want to place off the front left and front right corners a gray concrete diagonally outward, which will look like this, sort of. You can then bring those gray concretes up. Hold on. You can bring those gray concretes up until they are one taller than the black glass at the front. And then you can also bring that front row of black glass up with an additional row. Just for now, I don't know how the math will work on that. We'll see when we get to that roof. But that's what we'll have for now. Um, but yeah. And then, now the next step is going to be copy that left wall to the right side. And then we're going to do some weird things with sides, which um, are weird, but they'll work. From this far furthest right smooth course block, you want to go back diagonally to the right with the cyan terracotta. Bring it right by 12. I can memorize these numbers after writing them down, but if I don't write them down, I don't know. Well, I guess that makes sense, because I don't count them. Uh, you want to go left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter, and you want to place two stone bricks, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, cobblestone wall, stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, cobblestone wall, and then two stone bricks. 
Copy that row two more times. I just now realized how much I really rely on my grid being correct. Because if my grid's wrong, the entire build's wrong. Which has actually happened before. Twice. It happened on a medieval uh, house, and it also happened on the old Lego store, although that was a minor inconvenience. Oh, I didn't. I don't know why I just did that. Sorry, you don't want the row of stone brick there. Um, on top of that, what you want to do is going left to right or right to love does not matter. Place two stone bricks, four sideways mangrove wood, stone brick, four sideways mangrove wood, and then two stone bricks. Copy that row one more time. Then place a row of stone brick on top, and then bring the bottom row of mangrove woods. Each mangrove wood should come out with an additional mangrove wood, and it'll give you this. That's really the bare bones of your front. All we have to do now is... Well, a lot. But for the intentions of this, we're going to pretend that it's not that much, and that we're almost there, which we're not. But it'll make us all feel better if we're like, yeah, we're almost there. We're like half of a wall done, or half of a side, I guess. Now, the left and the right work differently. Oh God, freaking almonds! Um, <laughs> the left and the right work differently. However, are structured very similarly. So we're gonna build the front side of each of them. If that doesn't make any sense, just follow what I do. Um, what you want to do is you want to bring the back or the furthest right and furthest left side in terracotta each back by seventeen. This will be done simultaneously. Then going front to back on top of each one, on each row, you want to place stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, cobblestone wall, stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, Cobblestone wall, stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, cobblestone wall, and then two stone bricks. And again, you're doing that on both sides. I'm not really copying the number because it's basically just the window pattern with the walls and everything. And then there's one block in between them and two blocks of stone brick on either side like that. Hopefully from here, it should be fairly simple what you're supposed to do. First off, copy that, those rows, I guess, two more times. And then after this is where the self-choice comes in. I'll talk about why I made the decision I made and what exactly the, the ups and downs of uh, your possible choices. But, um... The way that I did it makes a sort of bit of logic. And that'll be explained whenever we're there. Now, once you've done that, going front to back on top of each row, you want to place stone brick, four sideways mangrove wood, stone brick, four sideways mangrove wood, stone brick, four sideways mangrove wood, and then two stone bricks. And then, once, you, once you've done that on both, you want to copy it one more time on either side. The way we're doing the math on this is kind of weird. Um, because of the way we did the front and the way we're about to do these. These I know the numbers for, so I don't necessarily have to show you the way that I'm going to show you. But it's just, it makes more sense to do it the way, this, at least for my brain. And then what you want to do is, on top of either side, you want to place three rows of stone bricks. Now that will include the front corner on either side. Except it'll only be two additional ones on top of that instead of three. So there you go. That's what it'll give you. And don't forget to bring the mangrove wood bottom row out with more mangrove wood. Sorry, I forgot that was a thing for a second. So you'll have this on either side. Now this is where choice comes in. I did what I did because I needed the extra space um, as I finished this up. But I didn't want to make it even. I didn't really like the concept of having a perfectly symmetrical build with the exception of the doorway. Literally even the logo is symmetrical. Um... So I ended up making them a little, a little bit different. You could make them both further back, you could make them both shorter, you could keep it as I have it. It doesn't matter. 
just whatever you do, make these smooth chords work with that. As in this here, where it's only like diagonally out on on the longer side, and then the shorter side, if there is a shorter side, doesn't matter. You know, it'll go however many it wants to. But once you've done that, we're going to branch off, and we're actually going to do the right side first, and then we'll worry about the left because the right is a little bit more annoying. So come to the back of the building. You want to orient yourself as though the left would be the right and the right would be the left. I think I inverted that as the, based on the way that I'm pointing. That side is the left side now. It's to my left. Um, and what you want to do is you want to take the bottom side of terracotta and you want to bring it right from my perspective. So technically left from the front, but it's right from my perspective. So that's how we're doing this. By 12. And this is where things get, well, easy. Well, boring, but easy. It was like that when I was talking about on the tutorial that might not even be out yet. It's a lot of, like, the same thing over and over again. If that wasn't even, even was a tutorial, it might have been a stream. Um, anyway, going left to right on top of that, you want to place a stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, cobblestone wall, stone brick, cobblestone wall, two black stained glass panes, cobblestone wall, and then two stone bricks, just like that. Guess what? Copy that row two more times. This is where the fun happens. A very, very basic build. Good for what it is. It's got some fancy parts. It's just pretty basic, other than that. Then going left to right on top of that place. Stone brick. Four sideways mangrove wood. I think you get the point. Stone brick. Four sideways mangrove wood. Uh, you can bring those, I guess, mangrove woods out with an additional row of mangrove. And then, and I guess, copy the entire row one more time, except for the sticky out bit. I'm doing this out of order just because I'm trying to do it. I don't know. And then place one row of stone brick on top. Just like that. Now, directing your attention to the other side, you don't really have to flip the directions. It doesn't really matter. But you want to take the back block and you want to bring it towards you with an additional five cyan terracotta. And then go left, from my perspective, by 12. And then it will be on the sides, it will be, hold on, it will be eight rows of stone bricks on the little side part here, and then it will be six on the back, on top of that side of terracotta. So these walls are just blank. This will just give me some space for bathrooms and a kitchen without having to have them window windowed. Windowed? Sure. I don't like putting windows in the kitchen. Personal preference. Except for drive-thru. Also, speaking of drive-thru, I don't know if Denny's has a drive-thru. I was getting extremely mixed results. So, you know, oh, frick, I made that too tall. It, I mean, if you do make the back as well, it, it doesn't matter a ton. Just try to not, so it'll give you this. It looks really weird, and I know it does. But, um, we can actually even that out. Yeah, let's do that. It, this won't be too hard. It's just, you know... So, what you basically want to do is from the ends of the stone brick, right? You got these taller areas here. And you want to... Let me see if I have an image of it. I do. You want to bring both rows in with three rows of stone bricks. On... Every corner. Or I guess, yeah, towards the center, whatever. you want to, However you want to word that. However you want me to word that. Like that. And then bring the bottom out with an additional six. And then that will leave you with three on the end. Or it should leave you with three on the end. If you didn't, uh, tough luck. <laughs> I mean... So it's four, six, three. I know that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but... It's how it is, so, you know. It makes enough sense for me to understand it, but also I made the thing, and this is the second time I've made it, which is always fun with tutorials. You get to make the same thing twice. So however many tutorials I've ever made, with the exception of, like, Act 3 and some of those, take that number and multiply it by 2, and I guess subtract a few for those. <laughs> That's how many buildings are in this world, plus, like, a few random things that I never made tutorials. Like, I have a diner somewhere, a new diner, that will hopefully actually exist. Anyway, come to the back again and come to the side that is further back. And you want to, from the left of it, you want to go towards you diagonally left, I guess, with the smooth quartz block. So we're still basing this off of the uh, backwards orientation. And then bring that left by 13. 
and then you can bring it towards the actual front of the build by five. Like that. So you get a little uh, seven or L or... It's backwards for both. God dang it. Um, you then can bring that up with an additional 11 rows of smooth quartz. And this is where things get a little bit easier. I Not really. We still have the letters to do. Which is never easy. I mean, it's not hard. The letters are simple. Just not a fun time. Not at all. Kind of boring. Letters are just boring. I like doing the buildings. I enjoy explaining this. I enjoy watching them kind of come together. But when it comes to letters, nah, man. That's not cool. I don't like those numbered, I guess, things where it's like go left two, right ones, back seven. Like I just don't like those mathematical things. They don't work for me very well. Oh, I thought I knew this number, but I don't know this number. I'm going to tell you to connect the top five rows of smooth courts together front to back at the far left and far right rows. I don't know if it's five, it might be four. I thought it was three, and then I realized that, that three was wrong because it was just how I had it originally. So it actually might be four. It might be four. But I'll tell you to do five because it's not going to make a difference. None of this will be seen anyways. This will all be roofed off. And the smooth course in general at the back, you might not see. I might cover it up. I'll see what I decide to do with that. It just depends on how the build works, really. Becca, are we done with everything we have? Kind of. Not really. I think we're actually done with stone bricks. Uh, I think. Now what you can do is clear inventory and get out to deep slate tile stairs. This is when the fun happens. Uh, polish deep slate walls. Yellow concrete, red concrete. Um... Acacia planks, acacia slabs, almost said stairs, that doesn't, we do not need stairs. Mangrove planks, oh, we might barely fit it. Mangrove stairs and mangrove slabs. I think that's all we need. Oh, god damn, we need the acacia lo 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 Acacia logs, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess to get some of it done, you can, um, what I did was you can take the smooth quartz area, this big rectangle, and you can fill in the top middle just in with acacia slabs. Um, you could, I guess, use smooth quartz, or you could use whatever. I just used acacia slabs because it was easiest, and I didn't feel like using smooth quartz. I thought it would, for some reason, look weird, which it wouldn't. It never does, but, no well. And then that'll be, some of the roof is done. And I guess we'll do all the other ones last, because that seems reasonable enough. And then we have the the stairs, the, not the stairs, the, the center block of glass. So, for that, where is my, there it is. Come to the... Fifth row of black glass up, so this first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and at the front left and right just place deep slate tile stairs that are upright. And then they'll obviously face away from the glass like that. Then leave a one block gap moving up and place ups and on deep slate tile stairs that basically do the same thing, except they're upside down. There you go. Kind of a weird way to do it, but, I mean, it works, so, no complaints. So, for the logo, uh, you want to come to this, uh, middle top rect- not middle, I get- I mean, I guess it is middle. This top rectangle of black glass, and you want to find the center four yellow concrete along the bottom row, which are these four. Count upper row, and then place yellow concrete in front of those middle four. Take the middle two yellow concrete and bring each one up with the red concrete. And then surround the red concrete and yellow concrete, so you have a, um, rectangle. Bring the middle yellow concrete at the left and the right out with an additional yellow concrete. I know this kind of looks like a lemon getting open heart surgery, but there's only so much you can do with the amount of space that I had right here. So we'll make it work, which is also why I put the letters on the side, because I had to do that. Because I just made the letters, and I was like, I'm not going to waste these, I might as well use them. Um, so yeah. 
Um, what you can do now is at the third row in on either side, you can place a row of polished deep slate walls going uh, bottom to top that goes uh, kind of through everything, including the logo, like that. And then it doesn't actually go in front of the stairs of the logo or anything. It just kind of goes around them. And then at the left and the right will be the second one from the front and second one from the back. And it'll do the same thing. And then it'll go up to the height of the glass for now. I don't know how this will work. We'll figure that out when we get there. Um, this is a very complicated build. I know I said it was basic, but like it is basic other than the roofs. The roofs get crazy wild. Uh, which we actually do need uh, glass, I know for a fact. Which I guess you can get rid of the yellow concrete now and get out black glass. And if you want to get rid of the red and get out acacia logs, you can. That's a thing. Or wood, whichever. I just like using the woods better. I don't know why. I think it's a hab force of habit at this point. Um... Yeah, let's actually make this roof. Why not? Uh, what you want to start off by doing is... On top of the the two gray concretes, you want to place acacia planks and then connect them together. Overhang them off the left and the right by one, and then place another row of acacia planks moving forward. I don't know how else to word this. Bring the front row of acacia planks forward with a row of upside down acacia slabs, and then bring that row of slabs up with an, with another row of slabs like that. That's the front of it. At the sides for the end two, you can bring these two acacia planks back with two acacia slabs. Bring each acacia slab down with an upside down acacia slab. And then bring the back upside down slabs back with two planks each. And then two acacia slabs. And then bring the upside down, or bring the acacia slabs down with upside down acacia slabs. With the exception of this kind of inner front one, because you already have the wall there, and the wall will. Uh, be there, which we actually do need to bring up this wall here, which is uh, fun. So the um, front row of walls, you can first off, I just place a little glass kind of behind that, so you don't have a gap there, and then place a polished deep slate wall in front of that gap. This one will kind of cling to some things, which is awkward, and I dislike it. But I'd rather that than it just floating in midair. So yeah, there you go. Uh, you can connect the top acacia planks or acacia or and acacia slabs together along the, I guess, top of the roof, and then that will give you another roof section filled in. These are not too hard, and also they look pretty cool. I really like how this turned out. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite tutorials I've made in a while, which is honestly saying something. Uh, favorite buildings? No, probably not. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the remake uh, Hell Neighbor stuff I think has been better than. A lot of the stuff I've made in general, but, um, I know, I can't believe it, I'm saying something, Hell Neighbor is good. Um, and there's obviously LN2. But that doesn't need an introduction. Um, come to the left side now, and you, we're gonna make the letters. So we're gonna orient this based off of the back being the left and the front being the right, and then obviously the left being the front and the right being the back. That doesn't make any sense, um... Basically, just pretend that uh, when you're looking at the left wall that your left's rights are based on that and not the front of the build, like I tend to do. Come to the top left-hand corner, and you want to count down two and right one. I almost said back. It's not even back. I'd be wrong in, like, three different languages. Uh, you want to place three mangrove planks moving up. Why did I do that like that? Then go right with an opposite on slab. Stair facing right. All this will be in mangrove. I'm not specifying that anymore. Down with a plank. Down with an opposite on stair facing right and then left with the slab. Leave a one block gap moving right from that D and place a mangrove stair. Ah, god dang it, I specified. Facing right, bring it right with the slab. On top of that, place a pair of mangrove stairs facing into each other, and on top of that, a little pair of slabs. D E. Leave a one block gap from the bottom of that, place two planks moving up, and then a slab. Go right with two slabs and then bring that. Uh, for this right slab down with two planks. Leave one block gap and do that again. Now leave a two block gap in place. A mangrove plank. Bring it up with a stair facing towards you. And then bring it left and right with the upside down stairs facing away from that stair like that. 
Bring those stairs up with a sl the upside down stairs up with a slab. Take that first plank you placed, bring it down with an upside down stair facing right, and then bring that stair left with the plank. Denny, who's Denny? Um, leave. I guess technically a two block half from the bottom of that. Although it depends on how you want to count that. And you want to place a slab. Bring it right with a plank. Up with a slab. Left with a plank. Up with a slab, and then right with a plank. There you have Denny's. Now we have one thing left to do, and it's um, <laughs> the part I'm not looking forward to doing. Come to the upside down polished deep slate. No, that's not polished deep slate. Upside down deep slate tile stair row at the back and at the left and the right of it. It's at the front of the build. I mean, not the back of the build. I should have specified that. By the way, directions are back to uh, normal directions. You want to bring this back deep slate tile stair left with two upside down acacia planks. Bring each of those, uh, sorry, upside down acacia slabs, not planks. Bring either slab up with an additional slab, and then you can also go right by one so it's on top of that stair, and it'll be left on the other side. We're doing this on both sides. Uh, just know that we're flipping directions, and I'm starting on the left. Go left from that with three planks, three upside down slabs, and then you can place three slabs on top of those upside down slabs, so I guess one per. Left with three planks, three upside down slabs, again slabs on top of those upside down slabs, and then two planks. And then you want to do that on the right as well. Now, never mind, I'm not going to say anything until I do this one as well. So it's just basically three. It's the, it's the slab slanted roof, but with three instead of one, or two, I guess. And then it will overhang the build by one, so it'll end on two planks. Now, we're going to do this next part number-based, and I know that's dumb, because I don't actually know the number I just realized, but it'll make more sense in a second here, hold on. This is why I jot down numbers. 23, 24, 25, 26. You want to bring that entire ordeal back with 20, or back by 26, the entire little roof. So we'll overhang the left side by two and the right side by a lot more than two. I don't know what the number is, and I'm not really telling the number. Actually, I'll be nice. Let me tell you it. I think it's, is it six? No, it's seven. So it'll overhang the right by seven, the left by two. And then, obviously, you don't really want to bring the upside down slabs back, because you don't need them inside the build. That's a waste of your time. However, you do want to make sure that you have them at the far back of the build. Once you have hit that overhang part, which is a large number on the left again. Or, sorry, right, not left. Left, it's less. I should have been able to figure that out, because it overhangs by two, and I know the sections were five blocks in difference in length back. So I could have figured that out a lot easier than what I did. Actually, it would not have been easier, but it would have been quicker and less time-consuming for me doing things. I would have just had to read two numbers and then done some math while I'm building, which isn't that hard. Um, and then, yeah, once we do this, we're literally done. We just have to do one thing with the acacia and wood, and then we're done. I just realized I didn't even intend to do that. Acacia wood is the little bear. I don't know why I destroyed that. I needed that. Acacia wood is, like, the little support, and then acacia planks is the actual roof. That's funny. Um, I guess, whoever has an opinion on this, let me know what you think in the, uh, comments down below. Also, when you hit the, uh, smooth course, it will overhang the smooth course by one on either side. Just wait on that until you've done both sides, and then I will give a quick explanation for it. It's not really hard. There's nothing hard about it, it just kind of exists. Let me actually make sure that I did the overhang on the other side and it will you will end up not being able to put all of it through obviously because of these smooth courts being in your way at the front but we'll get to that in a moment not really that important well it is important but it's not important enough for me to uh mention it while we're doing the roof but i also want to just like talk about it once we're done the roof because it just makes more sense to do it that way at least for me so just kind of leave it, unless you uh, have a guess in what to do, in which case go for it if you want to try something. Obviously, if you paid attention to the um, part where I show off the build, which you probably should, because then you actually know if the build's good or not, unless you want to build something blindfolded, which I actually do a lot, I just realized. I'll look at the thumbnail of, like, a tutorial, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll follow this, see how it is. 
I'm not gonna say whether it turns out good or bad, just, you know. <laughs> Interesting tactics. But I don't do that in city anymore, like in cities. I just build those for fun. Although I feel like when I used to do them in cities. No, I don't think I. No, I did look at them, I guess. Okay, you have this now, and it looks kind of weird because it just overhangs and stops. Uh, you can bring the acacia planks on either side in with three acacia slabs. This is at the back, of the, in front of the smooth quartz, or I guess behind it. Then down with the three upside down acacia slabs, or I guess the one per, and then those upside down acacia slabs will be in with acacia planks. And then you'll place two slabs in the middle with upside down slabs below them. So you're basically finishing off that really, really, really elongated and smushed V. Like that. I don't know why that was the way I, des I decided to describe it, but don't ask questions. And then at the right side where you have this large overhang, um, from the back right blocking count inward diagonally to the left by two, you'll be on an opposite on acacia slab, so you want to break that, and then bring this, uh, I guess normal slab, down to the ground with acacia logs or wood, doesn't matter. There you go, and that'll make it look a little bit more support, and that actually looks a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. I was like, I think this is gonna look stupid, but it looked good. That's why you try things around. You never know what'll look good and what won't look good. It's a lot of trial and error, trust me. Having built, like, look how many things are in this world. Having gone through this much building, there are some days where you're trying to build something and you just can't get it right. And then maybe you revisit the concept, like, two months later and you can get it perfect. I've had that issue a couple of times. Even with just not being able to, like, once I'm like, okay, I don't know what to build. And I'm like, okay, let me try building this. And it just doesn't turn out. It happens. Sometimes you gotta just, like, a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll, like, leave what I made, and then I'll just come back to it a different day and decide if I actually think it was a good or a bad concept. Your opinions can change. Sometimes you're just not feeling very confident about your building, and then you're like, oh, I don't know why I thought that was so bad. Well, um, yeah, let me just do a confirmation check, which we're not... No, we are done, because we did the letters. I forgot that that was the thing we already did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, once you're done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your remake, Denny's Complete. Um... Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think in this one. Do you think the old or the new is better? That's an obvious answer for me. The old one is absolute garbage. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.